part 6 of Terraform with Google Cloud and in this video we will learn how to add variables in our Terraform. So let's start. So in previous videos we created a script for our very first VM and in that we used uh, regions and zones on multiple places. So to avoid that we can create a global variable for regions and zones. So let's see the syntax that how actually variables are declared in Terraform script. So this is the syntax that how we can declare our variables in our script. So first of all we have keyword variable and then we have name of the variable and then we have default name which is called as a definition of the variable. So here will be the name first of all and then we have the default value which we use multiple times. So let's do that in our script. So you can create variables anywhere you want in your script but it is recommended that you have to create a variables.tf file so you can easily manage all the variables in one file. So let's create a new file for variables which is variables.tf file in the same folder in the same location. So our file is created here, here and we will create our variables for project, credentials, region and zone. Right, so we are using multiple times the reason and zones. So let's create our variables for project credentials, reason and zones, right? So we'll write your variable and the syntax will be automatically generated. So no need to remind, uh, remember it, right? First of all is for project. So we have created a variable for it. Next is for credentials. Right, and third variable for our zone. Sorry, third variable for our region. So we'll provide the default region there. Okay, so your will provide the default, default, and the value which is our region. Copy the region and paste it there. Same way we'll create a variable for zone also. As we are using them multiple times. We'll create, we'll copy the zone and paste here. Right. Project and credential variables are undeclared variables, right? So we have not suggested or we have not given any default value here. They are undeclared. We'll see further that why they are undeclared variables. And next variable we have to add is variable for OS image. This default. And the name will be name will be our OS image which we have taken in our VM. Let's copy it and paste it here. Okay, so region, zone and OS image are optional variables as we have provided the default values in them. But the variables which are project and credentials are required variables. So option optional variable does not mean that we don't require them. But Terraform already knows that uh, values of the variable as we have specified by default. So let's save the file, right? And let's go to the main.tf file and we'll see that how to use this all the variables. Go to main.tf file and remove PPC and subnet here and give the network default. So we'll save the file and we'll use all the variables which we have created. So first of all the variable which we have created was project. So we'll remove the value for it and to use the variable we have prefix called var. So we'll use var dot project. You can see all the variables created here. They are popping up. So we'll choose project. Then same thing we'll do for all other variables for credentials, zone, region. Let's do that var dot credentials. 
then next is zone uh, sorry region so we'll var dot region next is zone var dot zone here also we can specify where dot zone right and for image also we have created a variable so we'll so apply that variable we'll use that variable here which is where dot os image so now we have changed everything right your project credentials region zone okay so we'll save the file and we'll perform our terraform life cycle first of all we'll clear our terminal we'll apply the first command this terraform in it sorry the spelling is wrong yeah here the screen again and let's wait to get initialized so when you hit the terraform apply command it will ask you for the values of credentials and project so you can apply this values in three different ways first is cli arguments second is through environment variables and third is to provide the values through input variable files so firstly we'll provide the values with cli arguments so we have a command for that which is terraform plan and we have to specify our variables there so first variable is for our project id and second variable is for our credentials so you, so you have to paste your project id and your credentials which is your json file okay so here is our project id and here is our credentials which is json json file so we have to change this file because uh, this file is older one and we have a new file now so let's go to our file and rename it so we can copy the name we'll copy the name here right the name is copied and lastly i'll again explain the command which is terraform plan we have to provide here two variables one is our project variable or the id of the project and second variable is for credentials so let's hit the command and it will be planned in few seconds our infrastructure will be planned let's wait okay so it is successfully planned so this is the first way that you can provide your variables through cli argument so second way to provide the values is to provide the values through environment variables so there is a command for that so the command is set pf underscore where underscore credentials and your json file and we have to hit this command next is the command which is terraform plan so previously we had entered two variables here which was one was project id and second was credentials so here now we will only specify one variable which is for project id as we have already specified our credentials uh, in the previous command so we will not include the credentials variable here so when you will hit this terraform plan command the whole infrastructure for you will be planned so this is feasible for only two or three values if you want to add two or three value, values of your for your variables so this would be feasible but if there are more than two values or there are 10 values so this uh, this uh, type is not feasible for that so for this solution we have tf where files so now we will create terraform.tf where files right so let's create terraform.tf where files right and that will add our project id and our credentials remember that we have already specified region zone and os os images default value in our variables part so we don't have to specify in our terraform.tf where file so now let's uh let's plan our infrastructure hit the command terraform plan and it will be planned for you for you and in this video we learn that how to create variables and how to use them in our terraform script so that's it for the video stay tuned for next part